Uh, hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, in one of my previous videos I demonstrated how to translate or localize your application into some other foreign language and in that video I demonstrated how to use resource DLL wizard uh, meaning we created resource DLL for each of the languages that we uh, wished to translate our application for but in this video I'm going to show you a bit different approach uh, on how to translate your application uh, or localize uh, localize it without using resource DLLs. It can be, uh, I believe, uh, much more simple than with using uh, resource DLLs. So let's say that we have an application that only contains uh, one form here. Uh, that is the form one, which, ha which has a, a user interface uh, to input a data about some uh, person who wish to subscribe to something, for, for example, to some magazine and we have a full name a subscription details um, checkbox here that uh, he, he agrees with terms of use uh, and subscribe meet button. So what I want is to translate this UI to some other language and for uh, demonstration I'll use my native language which is Croatian and uh, of course we use English as well. So in order to translate this uh, or localize this form uh, I will go inside the code here unit one CPP and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to paste one function that I uh, wrote uh, recently. And uh, you should usually uh, paste this function in some common uh, global space where each of the form can access it. And uh, I'll just put it in here uh, because uh, this sample application contains only one form. Mm -hmm. So this is the function called translate form. So pretty much it uh, translates all components uh, on on the existing form and how to how does it do that it simply iterates through each component on the form so it uh, just goes through each component on the form and uh, searches the component by name and once it finds uh, the component uh, that you wish to translate uh, it searches its uh, translation inside the map so you, you have here form that you wish to uh, translate you have the language uh, to which you want to translate and uh, this is a container uh, that contains uh, translation so uh, this uh, string represents the component name that you wish to translate uh, and this here is another map that contains uh, the language that you wish to translate to and what is the actual uh, translation for that language. I'll, I'll explain it on, on the example but uh, just for now uh, this function here translates the entire form by simply iterating through each of the components on the form. It searches the component by name and once it's uh, found that uh, uh, individual component it checks for the uh, language meaning it checks for the translation for the target language and if it uh, found that uh, uh, translation for that language it will change the caption of that component to a uh, desired language. So let's actually see how uh, does it work. So first of all uh, we need to have uh, this here as uh, an argument so I will just copy it and put it inside the form here as a uh, member so let's say let's say it's public we'll put it here and uh, okay so I'll remove this and I need to include uh, a map here okay and like I said this is the name of the component and for that component we can have multiple translations meaning for each language uh, its own translation so I'll just use that map and I'll for example go inside the constructor here and I'll just say for example here um, this is the component called label one and I'll just say translation of uh, label one and it's the uppercase okay so that's uh, this part here is and now 
I can say here, now I need to specify the language. And that is going to be, um, in this case, English. And for English, I need to specify translation, and that will be, um, let's see, full name. Okay. Okay. And I will also add now a translation for uh, Croatian language. Okay. And, um, well, I'll just put it like this. Okay, to format it a little bit. And I'll do the same uh, for, um, first of all, let's see if this compiles. Yeah, I don't specify that. Okay, great, it compiles. Now I'll translate another component. So pretty much what I said here, I'm translating the label one component and English translation will be full name and Croatian uh, translation will be Uno Ime. So I'll create another translation and this time this is going to be a subscription. So it's going to be a blue box one component. And in English will be a subscription. And um, creation. Okay, so that's that. The second one, or the third one is the checkbox. It's going to be a checkbox one component. So you can also uh, uh, load uh, this from a file, for example, XML or JSON file, or even better, uh, from a database. Checkbox one, and the English will be this one here, and Croatian. Okay, and what I also have here is the subscribe me, and which is the button one. Okay. So let me just compile this, everything works, great. And like I said, uh, in this case, I have used the constructor of the dialog to initialize the translation map. And pretty much I said for each of the component, uh, components, uh, I specified English and Croatian uh, translation. Also, you can add uh, other languages as well, it's not a problem. And the only thing that it's now left is to simply call this function. And, uh, well, how to call it? So I'll add uh, another um, component here. Let's use a combo box. Where is the combo box? Okay, it's here. And uh, I'll add two items here. For example, English and Croatian. And I'll specify English as default. It's going to be a drop down list. Okay. And well, what I'll just say is uh, on change. Uh, if I change the current language, I'll just call it translate form. And what is uh, the form that I'm translating? It is this form. Uh, what is the language that I'm going to translate that to? It, it, that language is defined by the text inside the combo box. So specify combo 
in box one uh, text. So that is the selected language inside the combo box. And the last parameter is uh, the map with translation. And that map with translation, we have put it here. So we'll just use its name and paste it here. OK, so now let's see. Full name. So if it's English, then it's this. If uh, it's Croatian, well, now that then it's this, right? So uh, we forgot to translate these radio buttons. So let's just do that as well. OK, so that's radio button one. Uh, And the same will be for uh, radio button two. Okay, now let's try again. Uh, so this is the English, right? And if I try Croatian, well, as you can see, uh, all components on the form have changed uh, their captions to Croatian and I can return back to English. And like I said, it's, it's really simple and this uh, function uh, does the job. So it pretty much just iterates through each of the components on the form and uh, searches the components by, by their name. And once uh, it found that component by its name inside this uh, uh, translation map, then it searches for the translation uh, of, of that component for the desired language and simply changes, changes its uh, caption uh, according to translation. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe the drawback of this method is that you uh, need to uh, check for each uh, or, or update the component name. For example, if you change uh, from radio button one to something else, then you need to uh, change uh, that name here as well. But usually you would uh, translate or localize your application at the very end once uh, the entire uh, application is completed. And uh, pretty much that's it. Uh, I hope that you will find this uh, approach inter interesting and usual uh, and useful. And uh, well, if you have any questions, like always, uh, contact me in your comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.